Yo, what is up guys? This is of course Aprilia and today we're going to be looking into another AI image generator. This one is called Playground and it comes along with a free and also a paid version. But before we go into the actual interface, let's kind of look into their pitch deck and what exactly they have to offer. So outside from actually prompting images from scratch, it does have a couple of different image to image alteration functionalities and a lot of other ways to basically manipulate or alter existing images that you maybe want to tune up a little. They also have this feature called the mixed image editing. And by the way, some of these features are actually locked up behind the paid versions. Uh, so it's basically kind of focused around doing, you know, images from the scratch. You have in painting tools and things like that. But also there is a heavy emphasis basically on editing the images from onwards from there. So that's kind of basically the gist of it. It's not trying to do anything super revolutionary. It's just trying to give you the best image enhancement experience and prompting experience. In terms of the pricing, we have the free version, which comes with 50 image generations per day. That is actually pretty good. Also, you can use these commercially. So if you want to sell them on a lot of these image stock websites, which I have done an article on, by the way, which I'm going to be linking on the description down below. And I guess I throw one on the comments as well, in case you're looking into selling your images, which you are generating. And there are some other, obviously, things that comes along with the free version, including that there's a bit of more higher wait times during the peak hours. This is not a tool that has millions of users, so you don't really have to worry about that too much, to my knowledge. And also, there are some other, you know, brief limitations on what you can do. The pro version comes along with $12 a month if you're going to be doing the annual billing and $15 otherwise. This is pretty expensive, I would argue, compared to some of the competition like Mid Journey. But then again, like 1,000 images per day. So that is, well, 30,000 images per month which is pretty good. And I don't think many people are going to be prompting thousand images unless they're going to be having a lot of variations and trying to really, really find something. There are some other benefits that come along with this. And then there's obviously the Turbo, which comes along with a lot more, you know, more processing power, basically. But let's now kind of jump into a bit of their interface. So here are some people which have, you know, prompted out things and which have been uploaded by the system. What are basically the capabilities done with these and there are some very very nice looking high definition images here which are very good and obviously there's also text that is being supported i think it's using the stable diffusion underneath this is very very creative so i am actually liking a lot of these images here and it seems that there's a lot more emphasis on realism that doesn't seem to be that much of like people generating like anime art here for example there's you know a set of things that are supported in terms of the styles and maybe that's basically something we should, you know, do next. So I'm going to be logging into the platform so you can do a Google account and basically get into the interface. And as I said, 50 images per day is your limit. Now, this is the, here's my creations tab. So let's, let me show you something that I have prompted out earlier. So these are images that I technically, you know, did from the base up like there was no reference image. Here are ones that I did with reference image. They are a bit slightly deformed, but obviously the reference image wasn't really, really good. There was another image that I used for like a, this yoga yoga model thing that I prompted with mid journey. These turned out to be pretty decent dish, like compared to the original image. Obviously the eyes got really wonky and that's something that it did say to me that when it's basically trying to do like facial expressions and things like that. It doesn't maybe turn out to be the best it can. So let's go into creating something. And here's a couple of aspect ratios, which you can get into right now. Let's go 916 because that's pretty average. You can't use the high quality on this free version. There are obviously presets. And these are presets that you can basically set in. You can do your own seeds and everything like that. There is also these models, which you can choose. And there are a couple of them. I think there might be some of them which might be locked into the pro version. But I maybe maybe we try like actually, yeah, this is this is the maximum that they have. So that is three, seven, 
14. That's not that much, but I guess it's covering, you know, a lot of ground. So I'm going to be going with uh, Spielberg. We're going to be using this prompt from, I just picked out something from Civitile, which is safe for work. So we're going to be using this as our prompt. And you can also adjust the columns here. You can add a reference image, which I used earlier. I'm going to be prompting four images. And you can use AI to basically expand your prompt. So that's pretty cool. That will automatically create your, maybe not all the people, especially I am not always the best like writing the prompts. So usually I kind of look at what other people are doing and then I go adjusting something pro existing. Then we have a playgrounds O model, which is, I believe a variation or fork of stable diffusion. Stable diffusion XL is also here. Let's do an actual image with that as well, because I think that's actually pretty good. And I'm going to be choosing this as random and control traits. We're not going to do that, but basically there is that possibility here in case you want to play around with that. So I'm going to be creating those and let's also create a version with playgrounds on model, which has a lot less of these variables. And this is also going to be 916. And oh yeah, you can't prompt while you are having images in the generation simultaneously in the free version. And here we have the end result, actually pretty decent. It's not exactly what I was looking for. I mean, the original reference image looks quite different, but I mean, this is still like pretty close to what I was looking for. This is not that great. And this turned out to be okay. And this, so there's like a level of quality here. The text is a bit blurry. So let's try out this other format here now. So here, what happened was, I think we got actual man here. So it's not actually a cow anymore. So I guess, so here we got the actual results using the actual playground 2.5. I don't think the end results were really that good because it turned out to be something completely different and then not actual cow. So make it what you will, but this is not like very, very good result. Let's uh, try out something very, very different again. And we're going to be using just like, let's say an army bird or something like that. Let's, let's, let's go with this and random seed let's go with four images and we're going to be going with three and four so once again like i do think that the quality of the images is pretty good and i think the interface does allow us to have a level of alteration so that's a pretty good thing that we have this ability to kind of like edit these things out we can also go into my creations and we can also use the settings to again the play around. Okay. These actually turned out to be pretty okay. And I guess you can also upscale here. Like let's, let's try this. So there are these image enhancements like capabilities, as I said earlier, earlier, and it is actually nice to have an inbuilt upscaler. I mean, I'm always, always using this upscale tool. It's like, you know, I should probably link it down below in the description. It's free to use. You just download it on your windows. And it's just basically really, really good one because it has different filters for digital images and like, you know, photo images. So here we can have, you know, quality is going up and yeah. And there's some couple of other features, face restoration. You can submit to the daily theme. You can make it private on the other versions. Here's some other people which have prompted out cows. Good quality, I would say. But once again, like you have to have all the precise prompts and now the actual website froze on me. So let me actually get back into, let me try to go. So I finally managed to get the website working again. And I tried to basically copy the settings from this prompt over here and recreate this image using a different, you know, seed, but it did turn out to use something completely different as the model behind it. So this is an illustration, not an actual photo. And it came along with these extra legs outside from the extra legs. This is a very beautiful image and I actually like it very, very much, but apparently maybe that you know, model that it was using here is actually behind the paywall and you can only use it on the pro version. 
But all things considered, I think Playground is a decent image generator given to the fact that yes, you can create 50 images per day for free, which you can actually sell and monetize. So that's actually a good thing. It may take you a couple of different tries to actually have that specific image that you're going for. Maybe use more reference images for higher quality, but you know, I think there is some potential here if they keep improving their own model, but it turned out to be that a lot of the better quality work actually was done with Stable Diffusion XL. The interface is still pretty good in my opinion and pretty easy to use. There might be a couple of alternatives that do it slightly better, but in terms of like, you know, an alternative, I don't think Playground is actually that bad and people have been able to do uh, decent uh, quality images with it. But I don't really have much else to add regarding this tool. Obviously, a lot of the features are behind the pro version, which we're not able to explore, obviously, on this trial. Let me know what you think about Playground on the comment section below, and I will be seeing you in the next time on the next video.